You know, gardeners aren't always on the lookout for the latest and greatest plant introduction. Sometimes you just need a plant that works well for tough spaces. I really like Podocarpus macrophyllus or Buddhist pine for that reason. Podocarpus, as it is also commonly known, reaches heights of seven feet tall by two to three feet wide slowly over time. This natural columnar habit makes Podocarpus ideally situated for small spaces. So if you have a border uh, along a sidewalk in between the sidewalk and your house and it's say less than four feet, this is a perfect choice for those areas. Podocarpus, because of its slow growth habit, is also easily managed at smaller heights. So this is a plant that I would feel comfortable putting into those small areas where uh, maybe you have low windows and you don't necessarily want to block the view. I think you would be really happy with this choice. The other thing about Podocarpus is that even though it's one of those green plants, it's still really interesting. I love the way the new growth is light green and that contrasts really well with the older, darker green growth from the previous season. Podocarpus grows well in zone 7 to 9. If you are in a zone 6 and you're really wanting to try this plant, I would definitely encourage you to put this somewhere in a protected site around the house so along a border or somewhere that's protected from winter winds that can be really damaging to the plant the other thing that makes podocarpus so ideally situated for some of these tougher sites in our gardens is that it has excellent drought tolerance once it's established it also exhibits excellent salt spray tolerance so if you're out closer to the coast and you're getting some salt spray i definitely would consider podocarpus as an excellent choice for those areas Hey, thanks for checking out this video for the Plant Toolbox. If you have questions about growing Podocarpus macrophyllus or any other plant that will work well in North Carolina gardens, be sure to check out the database or visit your local county cooperative extension office.